guys, it's Delilah. And it's Esther. And in today's video, we're going to be telling you some stories of how crazy we used to be. We legit used to be so crazy and people would always be like, why are these girls so crazy? Why are these two so crazy? And some people <laughs> loved us for it and other people despised us for it. That is very true. And it seemed like most people didn't like us because of it. And we didn't get why people thought we were so crazy. I know, like we did not understand at all. But now looking back, it makes sense why everyone was like, why are you guys so crazy? These <laughs> girls are so crazy. Delilah and Esther are so crazy. So most of these stories take place back in 2014. And the first story we're going to be telling is the chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so me and Esther used to like making chocolate chip cookies. And I remember this one time I was at your house. <laughs> and we were making these cookies and one of them fell on the floor like when we were making it before mm -hmm. it went into the oven it fell on the floor and then her dog started licking all over it it got covered in <laughs> dog hair and we're like hmm maybe we should make this cookie anyway maybe we should bake this cookie didn't... and give it to this oh yeah because we had there's this person who we didn't like who didn't like us no. We're like, should we should we give this person this cookie? We thought it'd be so funny and like a good way to get revenge on him. So we're like, let's bake this cookie and do even more gross stuff to it. So <laughs> we baked the cookie. I remember I think I spit on it. I think you spit on it. The dogs licked all over it. It was covered in yeah, hair. We added over, all of these salt, seasonings. pepper, garlic, chili powder, like pretty much every single spice that mm -hmm. I had at my house we put on it. Yep. And then we left it on the table and we were like, let's go outside and throw <laughs> cookies at cars. Cause we made a bunch of other cookies and we used to do this weird thing where we'd stand outside in the ditch. Right by the road. <laughs> and we'd literally like throw cookies at people's cars as they drove past. I don't know why we thought this was fun, but we thought it was like one of the best things ever. And we did this more than once, didn't we? We did this multiple times. You would always come over and we'd make cookies just for this purpose. Like we'd like make cookies and waste all these ingredients just to throw cookies at people's vehicles as they drove past. And also when they drove past and like, we'd like hit them with the cookies. Well, also another thing that we did was we'd put cookies on the road and like try and get people to run them over. Why? I don't know what why was it was real of them running cookies over. And then we would like take binoculars and magnifying glasses and like be looking at the people. We literally would as they drove past. And we I wanted know. them to see us doing this. We were very strange. But anyway, we went outside to do that and we left the nasty cookie sitting on the <laughs> kitchen table. And when we came back in, we noticed it had a bite mark out of it. <laughs> It literally had a big bite mark. And the only person who was home was my dad. Now, my dad is like a huge germaphobe. He has like OCD. <laughs> and he was the one who had taken a bite out of this cookie. So like as soon as we saw it, we knew and we were like, oh no. And then didn't he like come into the kitchen and we were just there looking at that cookie? And yes. I don't remember if like he had said something like that cookie tastes weird or like if we asked him if he t like took a bite out of the cookie but he did we tell him like right uh, away yeah, did I we tell we him did. what happened to the cookie mm -hmm. we told him we're like oh yeah this cookie fell on the floor we spit on it the dogs licked it it had dog <laughs> hair stuck all over it we added all these weird seasonings and i will never forget the look on his face when we were telling him that his mouth was wide open Wait, isn't that the face that you said that I sometimes make that he made? Do you remember yes. that? Like, I would sometimes yes. randomly make some face. Yes. And that he makes it too. <laughs> I just, I can't even do it. <laughs> it's really like a mouth just randomly open. Do I still do it? Sometimes. Not as often as you used to. You used to do it a lot. But he was very, very upset. And rightly so. Like, what if somebody had done that to us, Delilah? Oh, man. We were legit going to give this cookie to someone. Like, what was wrong with us? Like, we would never do something like that. No, no never, now, never, 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 never. So around the same time, this was also in 2014, we would, like, 
go outside and randomly like chase cars that drove past <laughs> and we went delilah was sleeping over again and we did this in the middle of the night once like, yes i don't know what time it was it's probably well it was definitely past midnight it was very late and we were like running well, we would go, like, in the ditch and try and... Didn't we literally try and, like, wave down cars? Yes, we did. And, like, we... Literally. And then wouldn't we, like, go in the ditch and, like, run with them? Yes, and we, we like, would and chase after try them. Try and get them to stop. And there is this one, like, big truck that I don't know if they ended up stopping. I know they at least slowed down. And they, like, honked their horn a bunch. And then my mom came running out of the house because, like, everyone was in bed sleeping while Delilah and <laughs> doing this and she was yep. like woken up from that and she came running outside and just started screaming our names like I don't know if she like went and checked and saw that we weren't like in my room and then she like came outside after she heard that horn she was <laughs> screaming at the top of her lungs like literally screaming our names she was in complete panic <laughs> and then we came running up to the porch which is where she was and we got a stern talking to it was bad and then she called my parents and told them and because of this incident i was not allowed to go to homecoming it was my <laughs> it was my freshman year of high school which that is very embarrassing to say that i was doing this stuff when well, i was Delilah, 14 years old i was two years older than you that's really bad i feel like it's bad enough i was doing that at 14 you're 16. <laughs> didn't we know better we could have gotten taken. We could have gotten abducted. I don't know. I feel like we just didn't realize at the I time. Don't, I really don't think we did. But I remember my parents, after your mom called them, they came and sat me down, had this long talk with me, and they're like, you're not going to be going to homecoming this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I feel like that was kind of a fair punishment because that was pretty bad of us like we are very stupid i don't know what my punishment was honestly i probably just got you taken away i probably wasn't allowed to hang out with you or talk to you for who knows that was how always long. your punishment like she'd always take me away it's like how do you take a person away your mom <laughs> would always be like i'm taking delilah away delilah's taken away from you <laughs> well i guess it worked because that's like was like the worst thing you could take away from me because like she I had like my laptop and like my tablet and stuff, but she always decided to take you away. Yep, it was me every time. And then also that night, wasn't that the night when we had these giant sticks? <gasps> oh, yes. And we yep. had these like huge sticks. Huge. You were just like swinging them around. Like you those, could kill somebody. Those might with... have even been the walking sticks that my dad had like made. Well, like he found like these huge sticks, like when we went hiking and he turned them into walking sticks. They were either the walking sticks before he turned them into them or after regardless they were like these huge really long like heavy sticks we were like running around outside and were we like chasing cars with these i sticks think we too? were i remember this one time when we were at my house oh, and we put I... these <laughs> pails on our heads they were like empty gallon buckets of ice cream like mm -hmm. ice cream pails we had them on our heads and didn't i wear some old lady mask yep and we were chasing we like and wait wasn't this after that one incident or homecoming so. got oh, taken away. No. I think we were still doing it after that. I'm pretty sure we that was after. We hadn't learned our lesson, apparently. Because I remember us being out in my ditch, running after cars yep. with the pails on like our heads. Like, waving at people. And, like, honestly, why were we doing this? Is it just because we wanted to have fun? Or did we think that we were impressing people with this? I have no well, idea. It was probably a bit of both. Mm -hmm. But, like... <laughs> We were so insane. Why would we do that? And it's like, why was that even fun? I don't know, but it was. It was a blast. So in previous videos, we've talked about how on every Saturday night, the roller rink was the place to go. So we used to go there all the time. And I got to tell you, we did a lot of crazy stuff at the roller rink. We were so insane. And we would literally go every single Saturday night. And the owner of the roller rink never liked us. Like, she could not stand us. She hated us. I feel like we were some of her least favorite people Probably. ever. Probably. And, like, we didn't 
exactly get why back then, but looking back on it now, I can kind of see why because we did some of our craziest stuff at this <laughs> roller rink. We'd always put on our little shows. <laughs> like in the summertime, we would like get there early because you could like go and just hang out outside for like a while before the doors opened. Mm -hmm. So we would do that because it was like warm and we could just like hang outside. Yeah, a lot of other people would do it too. We'd all just meet up outside of skating like maybe like an hour before skating, half hour, mm -hmm. I don't know. We just spent time out there before skating. And this is where our girl fights took place. Oh man, we literally would beat the crap out of each other in front of like, wouldn't there probably be like 20, 30 kids? Yeah, possibly even more at like, times. At times it was probably more than that. We would literally be in the center. Us two would be beating <laughs> the crap out of each other as everybody screamed, girl fight, girl fight, girl fight. It's like literally, it seems like certain people would root for me, certain people would be like rooting for yes. you. Yes. And like they'd literally be screaming that and chanting that as we literally would beat the crap out of each yes. other for fun. It'd be like a literal physical fight. We'd be like pulling each other's hair, Punching scratch each other, each other tackling kicking, each other to the ground. slapping, just literally. Like everything you can think of, we did. Like we would actually beat the crap out of each other, and it would be fun. Like we'd be having fun the yes, whole time. Yes, because we wouldn't be doing it because we were mad at each other. We'd be doing it because people like to watch it, and just because we thought it was fun. Like that was one of our shows. That we'd I on. feel like we started doing it not even just you know because other people want us to or want to watch us. We just did it because like we just genuinely thought it was fun. But then after we did it the first time, people enjoyed watching I us. Would ask us to do it again, and like people would be like taking videos and pictures of us and I wish that like we could like ask some of the people who took those videos like we should what well if we're they still have friends any? with at least one of the person who did and I know we used to be friends with a different person but we kind of grew apart because mm. he said some not so nice things about yes. us yes <laughs> but I I need to see those videos I know I wish I had them so we could insert them right now like <laughs> Oh man, our girl fights. Like, I can't believe we did that. And like, people liked it. And we enjoyed it too. Like, we were having fun. It's like Although, we were in pain, but it was still fun. Like, we liked it. Although, why do I feel like there are times, at least like once or twice, when we actually got in those kind of fights because we were mad too? I though. think that's how we started like fighting is we one time got mad at each other and got in a real fight, but then we realized, hey, this is kind oh, of fun. Oh, yeah. We were mad, but then and we got into like a real physical fight and we were like, oh, hey, but this is fun. So then we just started doing it for fun. It is so bizarre. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that hurts bad! Ow, ow, ow! And then also when we'd be putting on our shows, this would usually take place inside of the roller rink. We we drink hand sanitizer. Oh no, not the hand sanitizer. And like people would be like, why are these girls so crazy? What are they doing? Why are they drinking hand sanitizer? And it's not like we drink enough to the point that like anything could happen to us, but it was still bad. I don't even know why we do it. It's like, did we think we were cool? I, I don't know. I did. Why do I feel like we thought we were getting like drunk or high off of it? Like, did we legitimately think we were? Cause you know how like hand sanitizer has like so much alcohol in mm -hmm. it. I feel like we did. And we would like go so crazy. And we were kind of more sheltered growing up too, so <laughs> I feel like we actually thought that we were. And we'd like be sitting around, there'd be people crowded around watching <laughs> us drink this hand sanitizer. Why are these girls so crazy? What are these girls doing? And why do I feel like we would try and make other people drink it too and they're like, no. Like, yeah, we'd be trying to encourage other people to do it. Although I feel like some people did do it I with think, us. I think there were a few people who did, but that most, crazy enough. most people would not. Yeah, they'd be like these crazy girls trying to make me drink hand sanitizer and they wouldn't like it. And then we'd also bring these rotten banana peels into skating to literally slap with we people. Would, well, we would literally like peel a banana and like wait for the 
like <laughs> banana peel to get somewhat rotten and we'd like stuff them in our purse yes, and then we come in there and then like halfway through skating we just like whip out a banana peel and like, like just go around and start people. slapping why well, i feel like we'd go around like literally like slapping and whacking random people that we, we didn't did, even I know think. that's like why we brought them although i remember we had this specific person that we really wanted to get <laughs> and we like thought it'd be we literally said slapping this guy in the face with a banana peel would be the most epic thing we literally would say the most epic thing in the world <laughs> and then i remember after we finally did it we were so happy we were like i cannot believe that we just slapped him with a banana peel we did it because like we had this plan for months it was like a dream come true when it happened like <laughs> it was like one of our biggest dreams and after we did it, why do i feel like we thought it was like one of our biggest accomplishments we in life we did like, like, we were so proud we were that insane <laughs> it was such weird things too and then i remember we also tackled this guy to the ground once too at skating like oh boy. we literally would tackle people to the ground sometimes and we tackled this dude to the ground i feel too. like we've done this to multiple people but i know exactly what you're talking about and, and who you're this, talking about and then there was this one time when we got hand sanitizer in this one guy's eye <gasps> Oh, that's bad. Did we bad. do it on purpose? I don't think I we don't, actually. I, I think don't. you squirted it on his head or something. Like we didn't actually mean for it to get in his eye, but then it did. And then I remember him <laughs> screaming, his eyes burned. <laughs> Why do I feel like he was kind of crying? I think he was. I think he was. It was so bad. And we didn't know why people thought we were crazy, Delilah. I we know. We didn't know. I know we were like why do people think we're so crazy like we were clueless to it when people would say why are Delilah and Esther so crazy what's wrong with them they're insane and we didn't get it <laughs> do you remember that cran apple juice <gasps> don't get me started on that expired cran apple juice the juice that we would literally buy well what ended up happening is we had some of this juice and it was expired and we we're like eh, well we'll just drink it anyways mm -hmm. and then we ended up going so crazy like we thought we got drunk off of this juice yes so what we would literally do after that is buy this juice and wait for it to expire so and then drink, drink it. it and we thought that we were drunk i will insert some clips of us from back then when we would drink this juice like the stuff that it would make us do i mean i think that was just us honestly obviously we weren't getting drunk off of it. <laughs> but at the time we thought we were like we get together to hang out and we would drink this juice and we would go insane like literally insane <laughs> like the time when like we ended up falling on that like cement floor there are all these different yes, things and then I will dance, insert that dancing around the pole and just all this different sort of stuff what is wrong with that juice i don't know <laughs> Like, we literally went insane, and the thing is, like, we weren't even drunk. Like, that was just us. I've never been drunk before. I've never yeah, been same. drunk, never been high. I'm like, I I don't think the world would be ready for, like, us drunk, Delilah. Like, that'd be bad. That, like, think about how how we were back then, like, People when we thought went we even, were on drugs. They did. They literally did. People thought we were, even though we had never had any sort of drugs. We, like, didn't drink or anything. But people literally thought that we were on stuff because we were that insane. <laughs> and I 
don't blame them. I mean, what was wrong with us? And like, we just end up getting into these super insane, crazy moods. And we just do all this crazy stuff. Like, we were insane. We used to make friends by literally oh boy. sending friend requests to people that we didn't yes, know. Yes, just random people on Facebook. And then we would message them. We would like send them all these random links to like these weird YouTube videos. The doll that aged. Oh yeah, the doll that aged. And then also just random weird pictures of ourselves. Like just like so many without any context. I know. And we literally would try to make friends that way. And the... <laughs> the worst part is it actually worked a few times. Yes, it One did. One of our best friends to this day, we literally met by doing that. Yes. Like, he got it. I think that's, like, also the reason why we do it is because in our crazy brains, we're like, well, if they're weirded out and don't like it, then we don't want to be their friends. But if they end up liking it and liking us because of it, then, well, they're people we want to be friends with. Like, it was insane. It was almost like a test in a way that we it do. It was. People. It was. But it was also just so much fun. And, yeah, this guy, we're still, like, best friends with him to this day. We still, like, hang out and stuff. And I just think it's so funny. And, actually, this is Spencer. He has been in some of our past videos. Nothing. No, what? Oh, no, nothing's nothing's wrong at all. I don't see anything wrong with this. <laughs> Please tell me you're not filming this. Yes. So, yeah, we're, we're still friends with him now, and that's actually how we met Spencer. We randomly friended him on Facebook and sent him all this weird stuff. I know, and then didn't he start sending stuff back to us? I think so. Yes, he did. Like, we just clicked instantly. And, yep, we've been friends since, what was that, 2014? 2014? I think it was 2014. Yeah, 24. We've been best friends with him since 2014. And that's literally how we met him. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Man, I can't I can't even believe that. Same, same. And after all of that, we still didn't understand why people thought we were so crazy. We were clueless. We didn't know why the owner of the roller rink didn't like us. We didn't know why people thought we were crazy and insane and why people would think we were weird. We didn't understand. We were clueless. And I feel like maybe it's because we grew up so sheltered. I feel like that might have some to do with it. Yeah, I think so. Because our parents were really strict on us growing up. And we were, you know, a bit sheltered. So I feel like we didn't always know better. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the biggest understatement <laughs> like oh uh, yeah we used to be so 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 crazy and now not it's like not to say we aren't kind of crazy now but it's just not to the same extent why do i yeah. feel like we it would still be fun to do some of the stuff we did back then but it's just too embarrassing to do now i know now I'm 21 and you're 23. I feel like we can't get away with it as easy anymore. Yeah, same. Although maybe we could because we literally still look like we could be like, you know, 13, 14. So like people I think know. that we look so young. Like people never believe that we're the age we are. Leave in the comments below if you think that we look young for our age. Like, do I look like I'm 21? Does she look like she's 23? Like, I'm literally almost in my mid-20s, and people still always think I'm, like, a young teenager. People always think that I'm dating my 13-year-old brother, and we're, like, 10 years apart. <laughs> so, like, we obviously must look, like, super young. Like, I don't know. Like, we do look a little young, but do we really look that young? I don't know. And then I made a TikTok for us, and I posted a video of us, oh, and it yeah. got taken down because, because we, we were minors, apparently. TikTok thinks we're minors. That's so annoying. Like, I want us to have a TikTok for our channel. We're going to have to try it again, and we're going to have to prove to TikTok that we're not minors because TikTok thinks that we are. <laughs> well, I guess that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.